And so, ladies and gentlemen, we move to the Leonardo da Vinci, the Salvatore Mundi, the masterpiece by Leonardo of Christ the Saviour, previously in the collections of three kings of England. At 90 million, 90 million, give me 200. 190 is bid. 200 million is bid. At 200 million. At 200 million. 200 million, please. 200 million is bid. Give me 10. At 200 million is bid. 280 million dollars. Are we all done? Maybe not. Don't take the photograph quite yet. At 370 million dollars, ladies and gentlemen. 400 million. <laughs> 400 million is the bid. Here in the sale room at 400 million with Alex Rotter. The bid is here at 400 million dollars. For the Salvatore Mundi at 400 million. Francois is out. Are you sure, Francois? At 400 million then. Thank you all for your bidding here, and on the telephone to my left, and of course here, Marie and Francois, it is with Alex Rotter at 400 million, Leonardo Salvatore Mundi selling here at Christie's, 400 million dollars is the bid, and the piece is sold. Thus, the most expensive painting in the world was sold. The masterpiece's name is Salvatore Mundi, or Saviour of the World in English. Painted by legendary Italian High Renaissance artist Leonardo da Vinci, the artwork was sold for nearly a half billion dollars at Christie's Auction House in 2017 to a mysterious buyer, which later came out to be no other than the Saudi Arabia Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. Apart from the yachts, jets, sports cars, and even gold toilets, one more thing that you will find out in the home of Richie Rich People is a collection of art. This is the first lecture of our small video course series called Investing in Art 101, where we provide the most modern approach on how to analyze the art market, choose the masterpiece, and invest in it. In this video, we will talk about the history behind investing in art. But before we do that welcome to the Intelligent Collector page where you will find everything you need to know about investing in alternative assets such as collectibles. Please subscribe and press the like button if you enjoy the video. People have been creating art in various forms for thousands of years, and the reasons for this are complex and varied. These paintings were often created for religious or spiritual reasons, and were used to depict animals, hunting scenes, and other aspects of daily life. Over time, art has evolved and taken on many different forms, and the reasons for creating art have also changed. Today, People create art for a wide range of reasons, including as a means of self-expression, as a way to explore and express emotions, and as a form of creative expression. Some people create art as a career or a profession, while others create art as a hobby or personal passion. Art has been valued for its aesthetic and cultural significance for centuries, and many people have invested in art as a way to preserve and profit from this value. The history of investing in art is closely tied to the history of art itself, as the value of art has changed over time depending on a variety of factors such as the artist, the medium, the style, and the historical context. One of the earliest recorded instances of art collecting dates back to ancient Rome, where wealthy patricians would commission and collect works of art as a display of their wealth and status. These collections often included paintings, sculptures, and other decorative objects, and were carefully curated and displayed in private villas and public spaces. In the Renaissance, the Medici family in Italy was known for their art collection, which included works by Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and Raphael. The Medici were patron sponsors of the arts, and their support helped to stimulate the development of the Renaissance art movement. The Medici were a wealthy banking family who rose to prominence in the 13th century and played a significant role in the cultural and political life of Florence and Italy. During the 18th and 19th centuries, the art market began to take on a more formalized structure, with the establishment of art dealers and auctions. The first public art auction was held in 1766 in London, and the first auction house, Christie's, was founded in 1766 as well. 
During this time, art collecting became more widespread, and many people began to invest in art as a way to preserve and profit from the value of rare and valuable works of art. In the 20th century, the art market continued to grow and evolve, with the emergence of new art movements and the globalization of the art world. Today, art is collected and traded by a wide range of investors, from individual collectors to museums, galleries, and even hedge funds. While investing in art can be a risky and volatile venture, many people are drawn to it for the potential to profit from the appreciation of rare and valuable works of art. At the same time, investing in art can also be a way to support the arts and preserve cultural heritage. Press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more engaging content.